So this is the DJI Avada and it's got to be one of the most popular FPV drones in existence. But it is a bit on the heavy side for 3 inch propellers or actually I think it's 2.9 inch propellers. So this week we're going to try to hack it apart and see if we can get it to fly really good. Oh, snap. Oh. Spoiler alert, it worked way better than I expected. <laughs> Look at that ass. Oh, I love that. 50-50 yeah. chance I can get through. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you exactly how to do the conversion, test how much better it flies, see what the professionals think of it, and if you've got a Nevada laying around, is this hack something worth doing or no? Oh, oh sh**. It's okay. <laughs> but first, let's start with the Avada in stock form. Now this video and all the music in it is brought to you by our sponsor, Lick. Now the flight experience of the stock Avada is kind of like a good cruiser. It is a Cinewoop, which means it has propeller guards, and propeller guards are great. It's much safer, but it does tend to affect your aerodynamics. Usually it tends to be a lot louder, and in this fight in particular, I am getting pushed around by the wind quite a bit more. Biggest complaint, I'm still kind of here waiting for a 24 frame per second firmware update, but I'm here still stuck at 30 and 60. And also when it comes to trying to fly more aggressively or freestyle it just lacks the power it feels kind of heavy not super punchy especially when it's on the tail end of its battery life now one of the things i've heard is that if you're flying this thing aggressively or in windy conditions you do a sudden turn it has the potential of tumbling and crashing it's something that i personally have not experienced yet but i have some theories on why it's happening so i'm gonna see if i can replicate it flying and then suddenly turn around oh oh it did happen <laughs> That was uh, first try. Let's see here, and then turn it around. Huh, I mean, that was all right. Going pretty fast, and then just boom. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some prop wash there, but that's pretty standard. But I swear that first time, it definitely did something a little bit funky where the nose dipped down more than it should have. Oh, oh, there. Okay, it definitely did it there. So if you do a sudden like, oh, oh, yeah, definitely there. The nose dipped down a little bit more, so I had to pull back up. I think the reason why I've never really encountered it before is because a Cinewoop, I'm usually trying to fly like a cruiser. Cinewoops never fly quite as good as a freestyle or five inch or a race drone. Those are just much quicker and lighter, more power. Now this turbo boosting hack we're about to do consists of swapping out the motors to something more powerful, larger propellers that are 3.5 inch and a new carbon fiber frame and tying everything together with larger prop guards. And the best part of all this is that this is actually part of a kit from this company called Access Flying. So all you got to do is get the frame kit and a set of motors. And then there's a instructional video that you can follow along to. The Avada was really useful for just getting people familiar with FPV. This could also be kind of the gateway to working on your drones too. Because I mean, a lot of this stuff, I mean, it's different because it's DJI's, but at the same time, it's pretty similar. I mean, you got the VTX, the flight controller, the camera, the GPS. And before you get started, keep in mind that DJI does not approve of this conversion or this video even. So do not open this thing up unless you feel comfortable voiding your warranty. I checked out some videos from people who have done this before me and some say it flies amazing and some say it's not worth the hassle. So I got to try it myself. So after spending all night on this modification, finally ESC Air. Okay, so um, the Avada knows I did something to it. I guess I gotta take this thing apart. <laughs> Ugh. Son of a b I had to open everything back up, re-cleaned up a couple of the solder joints, and I think the problem happened because I kind of skipped a step and didn't recover the solder joints back up. Usually we don't have to cover it back up. And now I'm like five hours into this thing and finally, Oh my, it sounds so much better than it usually does. Bigger propellers always help. I'm so happy that it's working. I'm gonna get some sleep. First thing in the morning, we're taking this thing out. Hey, Dreamy Dylan here to tell you about how we're using this popular mainstream music in this video without getting copyright strikes. Click to let you license some of these hit songs for your videos so you can sleep like a baby, knowing that you won't get demonetized and you can even keep your ad revenue. I Dream about you last night. Isn't this the best dream you've ever had? Whoa, Dylan, what are you doing here? I'm trying to have a nice, peaceful, beautiful dream, and, and what's with that stupid wig? Bro, I don't know. It's your dream. You tell me. But what I do know is that Lix has over a million mainstream tracks to choose from. That is true. Every time I go on Lix's website, I do like that there's new music options on there, so they're consistently growing every month. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. But Dreamy Dylan, what if I don't want a mainstream song? What if I just want something chill in the background? Shut your face and hit that snooze button, because Licked has over 100,000 stock music tracks to fill your video. Helpful search filters make it easy to find the music you're looking for, like popularity, moods, and genres. So wake up now and click the link in the description for 50% off the first mainstream music track and 14 days free stock music. 
No, seriously, wake up. I got a day job to do, and don't you got like a drone to fly or something? Seriously, wake up, my lunch break's almost over. Come on, man, let's go. Whoa, okay. Flies with my throttle down low, which is great. Feel my stick right here. See my throttle? Look how low that is. I mean, usually with the Vada, I'm up here, but when I go up here with the Vada, oh. I can't believe that the Vada's flying like this right now. Even if I'm not necessarily trying to fly fast, it's always good to have that extra power because if I come in like this, I want to be able to just have that extra power to just catch myself and not be afraid. Thought Kavada is around 20% battery life. It feels like it's barely able to stay afloat. Cruising right here, and that's my throttle. It's higher than it definitely was earlier. But I mean, I can still get up and go. So right now I'm at 15%, and I'm just gonna punch in and see what kind of flight I can get. And I'm 10 minutes into this flight too. Oh man, even at 10% battery life, I'm still able to get out of dive. What? What? Oh, no way. Oh, my God. <laughs> now at this point, I've already spent several batteries trying to get this thing to do that weird tumble thing that we encountered in the beginning. Dang, that's cool. Aquafine claims that this kit eliminates the problem, and I think they're right. <laughs> I'm in no issue. Dude, this thing is so sick. See, you're flying for like almost 10 minutes. Yeah. So I did a couple of hover tests to see how the battery life is affected with the conversion. And notice that the stock Avada is actually a bit more stable than the modified Avada, which makes sense. I'm sure everything is tuned specifically for the stock parts. But what really surprised me is that we actually got better battery life after the conversion. It was able to stay up about a minute longer than the stock Avada, which is surprising considering that it's actually heavier now. Now, in terms of how it sounds... If you're wondering why my Avada's covered in mud, well, I had an incident. This thing is covered in mud right now. Get out of there! What? Tick, 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 tick. Get out! Tick. Get out of oh, there! Tiki. Oh, my gosh, that's like the mud that sticks and is stinky. Now you just need to put two lines across what? under your eyes like you're going to battle. What did I crash the drone into? Ran in and my shoe got stuck in there. I think those shoes we just throw away. No way, these are Brooks. These are running shoes. Two peas in a pod, you two. Tiki, look at what we got into. <laughs> Once in a while, a motor overloaded error comes up on my screen, but it just keeps doing it anyways. Even on some pretty aggressive hard stops, it's definitely not doing the tumble. And I can still get my precision moves like that. Hello. There you go. So much easier to just fly this thing comfortably around our cells because of the pop guards, you know? But one thing I definitely think that DJI needs to give us is a better disarm switch. I mean, this one's a little bit tricky for disarming. So position hold it. Oh, okay. I hate the disarm. Yeah, the disarm switch. The dumbest part about the disarm is that if you're in manual mode, it's a double tap here. But if you're not in manual mode, then you have to land it like a Mavic, basically. Sometimes it'll like touch the ground. Then it'll like switch into normal mode to try to be safe. But then the disarm doesn't work with the double tap. And then it just kind of turns into a mess. Had a mind of his own right when it hit the ground. Yeah. I just want a good kill switch. Like just yeah. one button that guarantees always shuts off That's all the motors. That's what you would expect. That's not bad but I wouldn't want to use it. Sammy is uh, unimpressed. But the position hold though. Position uh -huh. hold is good. Auto safety features are great on yeah. it. Like I wish my joint had those safety right. features. But I notice it when you're like flying and doing like certain movement, it does not like it. It's gonna be a pretty sick day. Filming yeah, so some we're gonna be bikes. filming some dirt bikes. I'm for Oakley Moto. got the craziest shot on the world. Oh, how do you feel, man? Dude, excited. <laughs> during the jump, how close do you think the tire was to the camera? Like this. <laughs> After just seeing that, now I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna put my Avada <laughs> Can away. Can the Avada now. do 800 frames? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> but Josh loves the Avada. He said it's his favorite drone and he's no longer flying any of this stuff. Don't listen to Gene. DJ, give us a pro controller that has like a good disarm. We just need a and kill then, switch. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't need any 100%. like, oh, double click this. Or just get an X8 with an ember. <laughs> good shoot. Was. You know, got a couple crashes. And, um, <laughs> you know, if you ain't breaking nothing, you ain't learning. <laughs> well, I am learning right now. Oh, yeah. look at that. A crack it's right an down the center. Anamorphic flare thing. I always wanted my first Cinelifter crash to be like something epic. You it know? wasn't like, epic, but you were at an epic location. Went upside down in a video feed went out and i was just like i gotta kill it that's i the gotta worst, kill it that's the worst feeling yeah.
But you know what? At least you had the Avada. <laughs> Still have the Avada. Shut, shut up. up. Oh, oh, God. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. I think you were recording right when oh, I took off, right? So, Did you get the fall? So this is the flight where it happened. <laughs> oh, you got it. You <laughs> got it. it. Oh, my gosh. You got it. Man, that was so devastating. Why did that happen? This is a money pit, you guys. If you're going to get the FPV, you'll be blowing a lot of money. Because oh, you're going to be like, gosh. I want the best stuff. And then next you know you destroy the best stuff. And you're like, I want the cheap stuff because I'm going <laughs> to destroy it. If this was the Avada and I lost signal, it would have went whoosh. And then like flown back safely to me and landed right in front of me. Yeah. So Sammy and Josh not super impressed with the Vada, but that makes sense. I mean, the stuff they build and fly are just on a whole nother level. But what if you're someone that's familiar with flying drones, but never flown FPV? Ah! <laughs> this is so trippy, dude. Right. Oh my gosh, dude, this is crazy. Okay, it's like out of body, right? I'm like an out of body experience right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> wow, you really like, zone out like you're in another place i think it's safe to say that davada is the easiest fpv drone to fly out there because of the different flight modes but this video is not even about the avada it's about the supercharged avada so what do current avada owners think oh you put a little gopro mount on there i did and it has yeah. these little flashlight mounts on have you actually put a gopro on here i have and how does it fly it, battery life is bad and then the agility of this <laughs> you feel the weight. it struggles a little bit you feel the weight yeah yeah you're a firefighter and you like drones I do. Do, do do most firefighters like drones or a lot, a lot of us do yeah we have a couple on the department and uh -huh. it's kind of something that uh, we're using to go out and check scenes out the hazmat guys use them like i always know that it's a problem when drones show up to fire sites and stuff like that so that's when you guys hate especially drones, when they're right? doing the air, the air ops yeah they, they i think their motto is is if you fly we can't so they'll ground all the aircraft operations and that's a huge part of it. don't fly up to fire <laughs> exactly <Yeah. laughs> do not do that so yeah. the props are larger yeah. yeah my goal is to convince frank to convert his and i asked him about it and it's what? not gonna happen no, no matter what yeah, i use this for work man this well let's see after you fly it why don't we start off with flying the stock of it's, it's, it's just super loud it's just kind of ear piercing it's annoying. you know <laughs> yeah like I, I think with the other drones you can fly them and like not draw so much attention yeah, yeah. all right you guys want to try flying the new stuff <laughs> oh snap oh snap it feels like a float, right? That's yeah. one of the things that you never really got out of the Avada is it never really had that like yeah. floating feeling. Mm -hmm. Like you couldn't quite fling it no. ever. It feels like an Avada yeah. with a jetpack. <laughs> it feels smoother with more control. That's what it feels like. It does feel like way lighter. Yeah, going from regular Avada to this, there's a huge difference. So uh, about mm. that conversion. Uh, I'm gonna look into it. Another complaint I have with Avada is thanks to the new remote ID regulations from the FAA, I actually have to plug my goggles into my phone every time I wanna fly. That definitely gets old, but there's currently two ways around it. One with the new Integra goggles, which I do not have. Oh, you don't have to plug your thing in for a remote ID? No, not yet. Oh, cause I you didn't do the firmware update uh, for the I remote say, ID? That's oh. why I say not yet. If you do upgrade to the latest one, they do not allow you to roll it back. Just something to keep in mind. The kit does also come with this optional GoPro mount. Yeah, I mean, it's flying with the full size GoPro on there and it's doing it. Now I'm noticing that I'm only getting about 15 satellites for GPS right now. So that is less than I usually do. I think since the camera is right next to the GPS, it does block it a little bit, but still probably plenty in most scenarios. Let's see if I could dive with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely having to full throttle it. I'll try to do some quick turns real quick and see if I could do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely more work, but it's doing it and turn. But with the GoPro bones, I could get the weight of that to a fraction. Basically, it's a GoPro, but without the weight of the battery and screens. Now, this does need to be powered off the drone, but luckily my good friend Nurk, who has taught me so much about FPV, he actually did a great video about mounting the bones onto the stock Avada. Now we have it on this supercharged Avada. So I'm hoping that adding this extra weight gets countered by the performance boost. So we're up in the air with the bones now and, uh, you know, still feeling pretty good. Definitely feeling a little bit of that way. It's not quite as, ooh, did not realize there's a branch right there. I mean, this should give us better overall image quality, but most importantly, 24 frames per second. DJI, why is there still no 24 frames per second in the Avada? Maybe even 48 frames per second or anything that's divisible by 24 so we're not skipping frames. It's still probably quieter than the stock Avada without any sort of cameras on it. Like, obviously, I want to try to do as much flying as I can without disturbing people, so... I like it to be nice and quiet. I would say this is still a better flying aircraft than the stock Avada with nothing on it. So that's cool. I kind of want to go in here. Times like this, honestly, I think it's better to just be in normal mode. See, I don't know if I would do this in full manual mode. Uh oh, 
it's like GPS loss, come back, okay. So even with the amount of practice that I've had flying FTV, there are times where it is just easier to get it on normal modes. I mean, honestly, I was afraid of how much having this GoPro bones on here will affect the flight performance, and it definitely is, I definitely feel it, but it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Ooh, did not realize those branches were there. <laughs> I still got like nine minutes of battery life. Overall thoughts on this Axis flying hack. Should you consider doing this to your Avada? The appropriate answer is no, because I don't want you to break your drone and then blame me for it. But I will say that the performance boost is no joke and it's way more fun to fly now. You mother ever. <laughs> I also think it depends on what you need it for. I mean, personally, I got into FPV specifically for aerial cinematography. But after getting into it, I kind of got addicted to it. Now it's my hobby. Like I fly for fun more often than I'm flying for shots. And when I'm flying for fun, I want all the power I can possibly get. And even making repairs and working on drones is something I used to be intimidated by, but it's actually part of the fun now. Like that's how I spend Friday nights. I know I'm not as fun as I used to be. Now the conversion itself is pretty time consuming. It took me five hours, but that's mostly because I had to go back and fix up my work, but I don't think there was anything particularly difficult about it, but you definitely do need to have some soldering skills. And if you don't know how to solder, don't be intimidated by it. It's actually way easier than it looks and it's actually kind of fun, but just start off with some practice boards that you can mess up all you want. Get super comfortable with that before you go and do anything inside the Avada. And if you're still not super confident, you could just stitch the wires together just to lower the risk of anything major. Me personally, I'm really happy with how this Avada flies now after the conversion. So I'm really glad I did it. So one of the features that I really miss is the poll where I could ask you guys a question be like click that poll YouTube got rid of it and I'm still devastated about it but I feel like we could do polls down there in the comments right like I ask you guys a question and I leave two comments and then you guys vote on the answer by thumbing it up yeah why not? Uh, what question should we ask who's the worst team in the NFL uh, pineapples on pizza yes or no I want these videos to be kind of like a choose your own adventure <laughs> so you guys get to vote on what we do next you know yeah. wouldn't that be fun yeah I was gonna say we should ask everyone if you should shave your mustache or not oh that's a great question actually <laughs> yes should i shave my mustache slash beard thing this is the longest it's actually ever been it's just believe it or not like i've never had anything here so i'm gonna go down and comment and then you guys vote on it fun just be able to just like do this mm. yeah like i could actually go, grab something go like that yeah, sometimes yeah. you're thinking and then i grab like three strands of hair and go mm. <laughs> twisties like mm. oh yeah Harry's, i don't mind it Carrie doesn't mind but it I love you no my mom that. says i look dirty <laughs> vote on which one to do and i will either decide to keep this or shave it that is all see you guys later bye bye bye, bye everybody say bye say all right. bye guys bye